further to be put a six marker on this practical sort of question. What I want you guys to know is that whether you know how to do this, whether you need help with understanding how to make an experiment more valid, or just how to answer practical six marker questions, this video is for you. <laughs> so pause the video here, give it your best shot, and continue on to see how I answer it. Okay, so because this is a six marker, I would always recommend you read everything um, in terms of the information. So at the start it says, you know, um, the farmer grew one of the cuttings in soil, fertilised it with solution A and the other with solution B, that's fine. And then it said the farmer, the farmer <laughs> took several other precautions to increase the validity of the investigation, including growing the plants in the same type of soil, exposing the plants to the same light intensity. That's great, you know, they're controlling that. Then it said after a set period, um, the farmer measured the increase in height of the lavender plants. And that's their table there. Then it says, the farmer concluded that solution A increased the height of lavender more. A student said that even though the investigation was valid, the results did not give strong enough support to the farmer's conclusion. Describe and explain how the investigation could be improved in order to have more confidence, <laughs> confidence, okay, in any conclusion drawn from the results. There's a bunch of things we need to talk about here. <laughs> Number one. What does it mean to be more confident in a conclusion? It essentially means like, imagine, right? Your friend comes up to you, they're like, listen, this type of pen is the best pen you can write with. How are you so confident in their conclusion that the pen is so great? Unless you have evidence, unless they have evidence to back that is so great, you know? Is it just them that thinks that thinks it, or is it a bunch of people, like thousands of people who also think it? Is it um, how like how was it used? You know this pen. There are so many things you need to think about. Okay, so having confidence in any conclusion means do you have the sufficient evidence to back up your point? Now, what's really important here is that whenever you get questions about drawing conclusions, or even um, somebody has concluded something. You need to analyse the hell out of that statement, okay? So what I'm talking about here is this section about it being valid. Um, because once you understand what the conclusion that they've made is, like, is talking about, then you can really go on and answer the question. So it's saying that A increased the height of the lavender more. Objectively speaking, really, like when you look at it like face value, yeah, you know, 20.3 centimeters is greater than 15.4 centimeters but the thing is right life is in black and white life is much more colorful than that you know we need other data we need to see how many times has this been done you know um is this a true act like representation of what the practical went on had you know um done so that's why this question is all about validity how can we make an experiment more valid so here are the points there's so much that you can say and so that's why at the start of the video i said that anybody who's struggling with um you know how to make a practical more valid all of these points write them down in a notebook or your notes and just review them you know you can literally use all these points in any other practical question as well um so let's go through it so increase the number of plants in each group okay when you increase the number of, let's say, a participant or plant, it means that you have more data on it. We want that. Then this is identify anomalous results. You don't want to disregard them, no. You just want to identify them. Because then you can see whether like, it fits the pattern or not of the data. Then the other thing to say is that, you know, this would increase the accuracy of the mean. Okay? Then, I mean, calculate the mean. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> And then calculate standard deviation. You always want to talk about standard deviation because it's less affected by anomalous results. So you can still have anomalous results in the data, but it won't be that affected in the SD value. Then with standard deviation, you think of error bars, right? You want a graph, you know, I want to see a graph because um, 
we're going to be repeating this experiment because we need it to we need it really to calculate a mean by having error bars you, you can see you know the highest and lowest uh, height and that can lead to a more uh, representative like supporting data around what you're talking about then we have perform a stats test I mean hello we're talking about you know numbers here <laughs> so you don't need to specify which one but because there's two uh, fertilizer solutions I'm con like I'm thinking about um, students t-test because you're comparing two means so that's why you know I said assess the significance of the difference by comparing two means and that would be your six marker okay again it's not really rocket science you just need to know what validity means you need to know that yeah um, to have more confidence in any conclusion you'll need stats tests you need all of these um, calculations to be done so that you can say you know what I agree they are correct and yeah that's how you do that <laughs> so remember the two most important exam technique tips are read the question first and state all the obvious points and we've both seen how that is very applicable in this question haven't we so try some questions and let me know how it goes